Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Simon Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 89, verse 15 from the New Living Translation. And it reads as follows. Happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship, for they will walk in the light of your presence, Lord. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And this is the kind of attitude that we need to have as Christians. It says there, happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship. And that is where we must be, family. We must be happy. We must be joyful. We must be excited. We must be expectant to praise and worship the Lord. Yes, in the comfort of our own homes and our own vehicles and all these kinds of things. But I believe this particular portion of scriptures more specifically speaking about the joyful call to worship to come together corporately and worship the Lord in in church for worship services or for Sunday services or whatever it may be family this is that kind of attitude that we need to have we need to be excited we need to be joyful we need to be expectant when we go to the house of the Lord and when we corporately worship the Lord with our Christian friends and family we we can't go to church on Sunday just to you know ch- check a box on our checklist of things that we need to do during the course of the week to try and keep our family happy or our pastor happy or you know think we're doing our due service to the Lord by going to church once a week and and you know that's the ex- full extent of our service to the Lord at the end of the day no family that's not what our Christian walk is about that is religious obligation and and Christianity is not about religious obligation Christianity is about an active and intimate relationship with the Lord and if we have an active and intimate relationship with the Lord it'll lead us to want to praise and worship him because when we spend time with the Lord, we will get to see his awe and his wonder and how magnificent he is. And when we get to see this and experience this, when we get to taste and see that the Lord is good, we will not be able to help ourselves but to praise him and worship him for his goodness and for everything that he has done for us. But the only way we can get there, family, is by having an active relationship with the Lord, because that active relationship with the Lord causes us to want to go to church, causes us to want to spend time with the Lord, causes us to get happy every time we get to go to church family and that's where the Lord wants us to be the Lord wants us to be happy and expecting when we go to church because when we're in the church what does the latter portion of the scripture say it says for they will walk in the light of your presence Lord what is that meaning? It's meaning when we're praising and worshiping the Lord, whether it be in church or whether it be in the comfort of our own homes, when we're praising and worshiping the Lord, we're walking in the light of the Lord's presence because when we praise Him and worship Him, it ushers His presence into the space where we're praising and worshiping Him. Like I said, it can be at church or it can even be in the comfort of your own home. The Lord's presence is there. And it's important for us as Christians to spend time in the Lord's presence because the Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And the Bible also says that the joy of the Lord is our strength, family. So if we want the strength that we need to be able to go forward to do the work that the Lord has set before us, we need to get ourselves into the presence of the Lord because we're in the presence of the Lord, we'll receive the joy of the Lord. And when we receive the joy of the Lord, we'll receive the strength that we need to go forward, family. It's it's a big, vicious cycle, but it is a wonderful cycle. And God has set it up and programmed it this way so that so that he gets to spend that time with us, so that we get to spend that time with him, so that we get to spend that time in his presence, and so that there can be that active, intimate relationship that he desires with us, family. And when we have that, we will be filled with joy, we will be filled with strength, we will be filled with power and everything that we need to go forward, to be the people that God has created us to be, do the things that he's called us to do, and live the life that he wants us to live. So I want to encourage you, family, get excited each and every week to go into the house of the Lord. Get excited each and every day of the week to praise and worship the Lord. Don't let your praise and worship be something that's done only on Sunday. Do it each and every day of the week in your home, in your car, wherever you find an opportunity to praise and worship Him. Praise and worship Him. Be excited about praising and worshiping Him. And as you do this, you'll be in the Lord's presence. And as you're in the Lord's presence, you'll be filled with the joy. You'll receive the strength and everything that you need to go forward to do the work that the Lord has set before you. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. 
Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to focus more on our relationship with you, Lord. Help us to be excited and expectant and happy and joyous, Lord, when we get to spend time with you, Lord. Help stir up a, a desire in our hearts for us to spend time praising and worshiping you and growing in our relationship with you, Lord. Help give us an excitement to be able to go to church on Sunday, Lord, that we don't do it out of religious duty, Lord, but that we do it because we desire to spend that time with you and our Christian friends and family, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we do this, Lord, we will walk in the light of your presence, Lord, and where your presence is, there's joy, Lord, and where there's joy, Lord, there's strength, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that you bestow that strength upon us, Lord, to go forward to do the work that you've set before us. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook. Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.